All right, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Randall Young. I am a contributor to the Pioneer paper. Today I have with me Kyle Lee, who is a current student at CSU East Bay. And he's gonna be uh, talking to me about the tuition increase for the 2024 and 2025 school year that will go until the 2028, 2029 school year. So um, it is a tuition increase um, it affects all students, not just undergrad. And, um, you know, so as a current student, you know, how does this tuition increase affect you or does it affect you? Um, I'm fortunate enough to where this is probably my last semester here on campus. I think I have like a couple classes to clean up during the summer and, but ultimately I will be, or I probably won't be really affected by the tuition changes over the next few years. Um, but I know a lot of people that will be affected by it. Um, and and so it, it is definitely still really concerning considering like just a bunch of different factors um, yes. around the Bay Area. Uh, so, you know, the, the price increase is a 6% increase. And, you know, is that in, until the 2028, uh, 2029 school year, um, you know, is that increase realistic and reasonable? Uh, it should be, I think it is about like plus $342 uh, added on each year. Um, I, I don't know if it, it, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would say it's reasonable because um, like, obviously like, yeah, the more money the school has, theoretically, the more money should be going back into making the education better. Um, but like, especially with like the recent, uh, faculty strike, uh, like across the whole Cal state system and the deal they got, like, like they're still getting less benefits from like this tuition increase themselves, much less it coming back all the way down to students. Um, and so I think charging more when they're constantly like cutting out classes, uh, and, and and like they're taking forever to make a new building, uh, the new science building on campus. I know has a has a lot of logistical issues that have been all over it for a while. Um, like when all these things are still present, and we're not seeing any like directly tangible increase in help in any of those areas, it's difficult for me to justify that sort of raise. Definitely in tuition. Um, yeah, when I think uh, you know, I think when we all think of price increases uh it's it's kind of more negative rather than positive even though you know the the tuition um increases will go to help fund you know um more uh, programs within the school i think you know in the short term it is harder for a lot of the students even though in the long term it might be a good thing um so you know that leads me to my next point uh you know, with everything rising in costs, not just schooling, you know, um, are instead of, you know, future students who may be um, benefiting from this, you know, what about the um, current students who are, or uh, potential future students who are struggling to make ends meet? Yeah, I think it's super concerning because like a lot of, I have, I've had a few friends that have uh, graduated before me and like, going off of their experiences, I like putting more financial stress on, on the prospective students, mm -hmm. uh, isn't the most appealing aspect. Um, like, uh, this is a very largely a very commuter based school. I think like, like at least two thirds of the student body commutes. Um, and with the prices of like housing constantly going up and, and like food going up, like just tons of issues with like inflation um like like giving putting like more stressors on like current and future students while they're here like isn't good for the school and and so i think that um it would be better to try to find alternative ways to try and alleviate that stress instead of adding more with an increased uh tuition cost mm. yeah i agree um you know, and so some of these priorities for the increased tuition are um, increased funding for state university grant programs, um, academic and student services support, basic needs and mental health services, Title IX implementation, 
uh, infrastructure, you know, new facilities and compensation for um, faculty and staff to retain them. And so, you know, I think keeping faculty happy and uh, keeping them here is very important. And I also think that um, increased funding for the student grant program is also super important because um, 60 percent of all CSU students already are being their tuition is fully covered by, you know, these grants, scholarships and other waivers. So, um, you know, what what would you say you're uh, the most important priority to you is and why? Um, I definitely would say that keeping faculty happy is the is the most important because their teaching conditions are our learning conditions. So y y y like the the faculty are like the teachers are the front facing like representatives of the school to the student body because I interact with my teachers the most out of everyone at the school in terms of people who work there. So to 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 have them taken care of, they will be able to better take care of like everything else that needs taken care of at the school and helping students like achieve and and succeed, which is kind of the end goal Definitely. of what a school should be. Um, and so I, I think that that hopefully I, I think that the strike that this happened this semester just led to like a one year agreement between like the the faculty association and the Cal State uh, institution. So hopefully when they go into negotiations, which is probably soon, I think it, it's either this summer or next summer, hopefully like they're able to like really hash out the logistics and make sure that if, if they are really going to go with this much of a tuition increase, that it's actually, they have a plan to implement all of these things that Definitely. they say that they're gonna implement. Instead mm -hmm. of just kind of blanket term, uh, like just saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do this, 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 like, mm -hmm. I, I think just pushing more initiatives to make it well known and better show it um, and make it, you know, actually effective is the most important thing. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, the tr having that transparency and, you know, the students knowing that the money is actually being sp spent to benefit them is super important as well. For sure. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, that, those are all the questions that I have. Um, all right, thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, uh, again, this is Randall Young, a contrib uh, contributor to the Pioneer, signing off.